Hello, I'm Mansi Limbu. I'll be presenting this video as a graphical illustration of our paper on team coordination on graphs with reinforcement learning. In our original problem formulation, we incorporated the notion of the risk edges and support nodes in a single environment graph EZ. If agents choose a risky source path without team support, they incur significant cost to reach the goal. However, if agents choose to take uh, support from a teammate, they can minimize the total cost on their way to the goal. To find minimum cost solution, we transform easy to joint state graph called GST. Another approach is critical joint state graph CGST, which addresses the computational inefficiency of GST but limited to two agents and simple graphs. This brings us to question, can GST provide efficient solution if the number of agents increase and easy become more complex? Can we get our desired solution shown here where agents coordinate in risky path to minimize cost to reach the goal? Unfortunately, GST become very slow when facing more agents and larger graphs. To improve efficiency, we can use a naive shortest path algorithm while agents quickly find shortest routes that lack coordination, resulting in increased team cost to reach the goal. To address this limitation, we devise a strategy that ensures not only scalability but also agents' coordination. In the first part of the paper, we address team coordination for multiple agents with a single easy. We transform the problem formulation into MDP with each states as joint agent position and actions as their joint movements. In the second part, we address team coordination for any end node graph. State space combines agent position, graph connectivity, and support mechanism, while the action space remains the same as the single AZ. We use Q learning and PPU in our implementation. We then incorporated action level masking in Q learning and logic level masking in PPU for the invariant actions. We save our UR function to promote agent coordination and minimize cost. For single easy experiment, we generated solution times for 2 to 4 agents using GST, Q learning, and PPO. In experiments with 5 to 25 node graph of different density, the RL efficiency draw for larger problems, yet its advantage over GST starts to emerge with complex graph and more agents. For 4 agents on a sparse graph, PPO excels over GST in time and optimality efficiency on 15 node but not on a 10 node. On moderate and dense graph, PPO strikes a balance between GST and the naive in both 10 and 15 nodes. For the multiple easy experiment on 5 and 10 nodes graph, Q learning lagged in scalability and underperformed compared to GST while PPO achieved 70 to 80% optimal solution with half of the time of GST.